Woof. Hey guys, Totally Jerd here. So about a year ago, I made a video on whether the 750 tire was still a good choice for 1080p gaming. And my conclusions drawn from that video were that yes, the 750 tire was still a great choice at that time for 1080p gaming. But as more and more budget options have been released over the past year, such as the incredible GTX 1050 and RX 460, is the 750 tire still a viable choice for 1080p gaming? And if so, at what price point? Let's get into these benchmarks. Smooth. I chose to include the results of my GTX 970, as well as last year's 750 tyre results, to get a better picture of what price to performance you should expect from this card. As always, I use my computer as a test bench, whose specs are down in the description. However, it has an i3-4160 and 16GB of RAM, so it should remove most bottlenecks. As you can see from those benchmarks, the Sam 50 tie could play games at around console settings and frame rates without breaking a sweat, which is really good for those on a tight budget. But in my opinion, you're honestly better off going for something used like a GTX 580, a GTX 670, an HD 6950, or an RX 460 or a GTX 1050 if you can find them used, or even new. Those graphics cards are really good new. So, should you get the 750 tire for 1080p gaming? Honestly, it depends on the price point. If you can get it for about $60, then I recommend it, because it's still a great graphics card, albeit at lower settings at 1080p. 
it probably only has a few more years on its lifespan anyway, so you may want to think about upgrading it later on. But for the moment, the 750 Ti is still a great choice for 1080p gaming. And surprisingly enough, it has actually improved in performance from last year. I saw about a 14% rise in performance compared with last year, which could be due to my inaccurate testing last year, or could just be due to the better drivers out now, but either way, that is still a very good increase. All in all, the 750 Ti is still a great budget graphics card for 1080p gaming, and if you can get it for about $60, then just go for it. It's a great card. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing how well this great budget graphics card performs. I hope to do the same thing next year because this graphics card is getting quite old now and it probably only has a few more years on its lifespan. So I want to try and record as many memories as I can of this great graphics card before it just is forgotten. So I hope you all have a good one. I hope to see you all in the next video. I better because I want money. See ya!